now let us discuss about PISO shift register PISO stands for parallel in serial out so here the input will be loaded into the shift register in parallel whereas the output will be shifted in serial manner so this is the diagram for a 4 bit PISO shift register uh, so we know register means a collection of uh, flip flops so here we have uh, 4 flip flops where the inputs of the flip flops are uh, here we are taking uh, D flip flop uh, we know the advantage of D flip flop so by using D flip flop we can store the data D stands for data here the inputs of the flip flop are D3, D2, D1, D0 whereas the outputs of the flip flop are Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 and this is a resistor so it is a sequential circuit so we must apply clock pulse on all the four flip flops so this is nothing but clock pulse ok uh, next uh, let us uh, see with the help of an example uh, let the inputs are uh, 1010 1010 so here the inputs are B3, B2, B1, B0 are nothing but inputs so what is B3 this is most significant bit so this value is B3 so B3 is 1 next to B2 is 0 B1 is 1 whereas what is LSB that is 0 so 1 0 1 0 here in order to perform the operation we are using a control input called shift by load bar shift by load bar suppose if this input is 0 then load operation will be performed suppose if this input is 1 then shift operation will be performed so first let us see about load operation so when the load operation will be performed if the input is 0 if the input is 0 so here the input is 0 the input is 0 the complement of 0 is nothing but 1 here uh, we have uh, R gate the output of R gate will be supplied as input to the flip flop output of R gate is supplied as input to the flip flop output of R gate is supplied as input to the flip flop uh, this is here uh, uh, the first input is nothing but uh, yeah f uh, B3 so here we are uh, passing the first input as input to the first flip flop uh, whereas this Q0 this is nothing but serial output this is nothing but serial output uh, so let us see here uh, here let the input is 0 then we, we can perform load operation so 0 bar means 1 1 so here the top line means 1 whereas bottom line means 0 here we have two AND gates so every R gate receives input from two AND gates so first AND gate second AND gate third one fourth one fifth one sixth one if you take even number AND gates so she has two four and six even number AND gate receives input from the complemented line as well as that uh, bit it may be B2 or B1 or B0 that input so if you take the second AND gate it is receiving the first input from complemented line where has second input from B2 next to fourth AND gate is receiving input from the complemented line as well as B1 sixth AND gate is receiving input from the complemented line as well as B0 whereas odd numbered AND gates 1 3 5 receiving input from that uh, actual line so this is nothing but actual line actual line as well as output of the flip flop if you take the first AND gate it is receiving input from actual line actual line this is actual line and the second input is from output of the flip flop if you take the third third one odd number AND gate it is receiving input from actual line as well as output of the flip flop so here also actual line and uh, output of the flip flop here uh, here if the input is 0 
if the control input is zero then we are going to perform the load operation here we have load by, shift by load bar okay so if you take here uh, here zero bar means one so second and gate receives one why because second and gate is receiving input from this complemented line what is the complemented line one likewise fourth and gate is receiving input from one sixth and gate is receiving input from one input from one if you see here here we have and gate so here we are performing and operation on one and b2 one and b2 so what is the result so one and b2 so here what is b2 value b2 value may be either zero or one so if it is zero then what is the result zero zero is nothing but b2 value if b2 value is one here what is one the first input is one so if b2 value is zero the result is zero that is nothing but b2 value if b2 value is one the result is one that is nothing but b2 value so if we perform and operation on b2 and one we will get b2 as the output we will get b2 as the output so likewise here also and operation on b1 and one so b1 is the output and operation on b0 and one so b0 is the output okay b0 is the output whereas this first and gate third and gate and fifth and gate is receiving input from this actual line actual line means zero actual line means zero so zero into anything is nothing but zero only so here it is receiving input from zero and q3 zero into anything is nothing but zero only so this result is zero so likewise here also it is receiving input from actual line and uh, uh, this uh, output zero into anything is nothing but zero only so here also the output is zero here we are performing or operation on these two and gates so zero and zero or b2 this is nothing but or operation zero or b2 is nothing but zero or b2 so here what is b2 value it may be either zero or one zero or zero is nothing but zero zero or one is nothing but one so if we perform or operation with b2 then what is the result so 0 1 0 1 is nothing but that b2 only so what is the result here here the result is b2 so that means here what is the operation we are performing load operation so if we if the input is 0 then that bit is loaded into the corresponding flip flop so here also 0 or b1 that is nothing but b1 here also 0 or b0 that is nothing but b0 so if the input is 0 then the shift register it is performing the load operation what is load operation loading the content of the register here what is the content here here the register totally contains four bits b3 bit is 1 next bit is 0 next bit is 1 next bit is 0 so here directly we are supplying the b3 so it contains 1 next it is storing what what is the output of the or gate b2 what is b2 value 0 here here also the output of the or gate is b1 what is b1 value 1 here also output is b0 so what is the input to the flip flop this 0 so how many clock pulses are required for performing the load operation only one clock pulse is required so how many clock pulses are required only one clock pulse is required for load operation so if, if if the inputs are one zero one zero then if you perform the clock pulse then that content will be loaded into the register so this is about load operation now let us see about shift operation let us see about shift operation so when the shift operation is performed when the input is one so here the input is one so erase these lines erase these lines so here we, we have to perform which operation shift operation so we need to shift the content of one flip flop to the another flip flop one flip flop to the another flip flop so let's see how we can do that so here what is the input one is the input so one complement means zero whereas this actual line is nothing but one this actual line is nothing but one so if we see here second and gate fourth and gate second and gate here what is this input this input is nothing but b2 second and gate 
फोर्थ एंडी गेट एंड सिक्स एंडी गेट रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड लाइन वॉट इज द कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड लाइन जीरो वॉट इज द कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड लाइन जीरो जीरो इवेन नंबर गेट्स रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम द कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड लाइन सो हियर वॉट इज द अंड ऑपरेशन ऑन जीरो एंड बी टू सो द आउटपुट इज जीरो सो हिर ऑल्सो द आउटपुट इज जीरो हिर ऑल्सो द आउटपुट इज जीरो नेक्स्ट वेर यज द आर्ड नेंबर्ड अंडी गेट्स आर रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम आर्ड नेंबर्ड अंडी गेट्स आर रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम दिस क्यू थ्री आउटपुट ऑफ द फ्लिप लॉप एज वेल एज दिस वन सो इट इज रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम वन एंड क्यू थ्री वन एंड क्यू थ्री सो वॉट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ वन एंड क्यू थ्री इफ यू परफॉर्म अंड ऑपरेशन ऑन वन एंड क्यू थ्री वी विल गेट क्यू थ्री एज द आउटपुट ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन दैट इफ यू परफॉर्म अंड ऑपरेशन ऑन वन एंड बी टू वी आर गेटिंग बी टू एज द आउटपुट सो लाइक वाइज इफ यू परफॉर्म अंड ऑपरेशन ऑन वन एंड क्यू थ्री वी विल गेट क्यू थ्री एज द आउटपुट सो क्यू थ्री दिस आर गेट इज रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम क्यू थ्री एंड जीरो सो वॉट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ क्यू थ्री आर जीरो दैट इज नथिंग बट क्यू थ्री ओनली सो हियर वॉट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस आर गेट क्यू थ्री लाइक वाइज हियर ऑल्सो दिस अंडी गेट इज रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम क्यू टू एज वेल एज दिस एक्चुअल लाइन वन सो क्यू टू एंड वन इज नथिंग बट क्यू टू वेर एज वॉट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द आर गेट क्यू टू आर जीरो दैट इज नथिंग बट क्यू टू दैट इज नथिंग बट क्यू टू सो हियर द पॉइंट इज दिस सेकेंड फ्लिप लॉप इज रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम क्यू टू नेक्स्ट दिस फ्लिप लॉप इज रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम क्यू टू नेक्स्ट दिस फ्लिप लॉप इज रिसीविंग इनपुट फ्रॉम दिस क्यू वन क्यू वन here which operation we have to perform shift operation so shift operation means what will happen this bit will be discarded whereas this flip flop contains q1 data likewise this flip flop will contains q2 data likewise this flip flop will contains this uh, q0 data or b3 data now let us see how many clock pulses are required for performing the load operation shift operation so for performing the load operation how many clock pulses are required only one clock pulse is required so if we load 1010 then directly we will get this zero as the output if we load 1010 then directly we will get this zero as the output so for remaining three bits shifting so let us see how many clock pulses are required so this is nothing but shift right operation so what is shift right operation each bit will be shifted one position to the right here already this zero is already it is shifted so shift this one one position to the right shift to this zero one position to the right next shift to this one one position to the right so here at the leftmost zero will be added logical this is shift right means zero will be added at the leftmost and rightmost bit will be discarded rightmost bit will be discarded okay so here this bit is discarded so what is the output now 101 so that means we got output as one also next let us perform one more shift operation so this uh, this the zero will be shifted here next this one will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted here one more zero will be shifted one more zero will be shifted so what is this zero this zero is nothing but here we have this zero next if we perform one more clock pulse here we will get one so 101 101 so totally how many clock pulses are required totally n minus 1 clock pulses are required for shifting here we here the register contains four bits so here we got uh, the last bit as the output by applying the first clock pulse only so during loading only we will get the last bit as the output so for remaining three bits shifting how many clock pulses are required for remaining 3 bit shifting so we require n minus 1 clock pulses n minus 1 clock pulses so totally how many clock pulses are required 1 plus n minus 1 so totally n clock pulses are required in order to perform the entire operation so one clock pulse is for loading the data in the register so while loading the data in the register what are the inputs the first flip flop is accepting b3 the second flip flop is accepting b2 next this flip flop is accepting b1 this flip flop is accepting b0 
where he has for shift operation what are the inputs here so here we are passing here we are passing this q3 as input to this flip flop next next this content will be shifted here so this q2 will be shifted here next this q1 will be shifted here q1 will be shifted here so this uh, flip flop data will be discarded q2 will be shifted here next q3 will be shifted here next here what will happen every time a new zero will be appended why because register already contains four bits so there is no need to add one more bit okay so this is about uh, pi s4 shift register parallel in serial out